We went through it many times. While I use these glasses more than I would like to admit, there are still some problems that are kind of impossible to overtake, mostly because of Google itself and the Android system. For example, these are the Rocket Max, one of my favorite smart glasses on the market right now, with the brightest and biggest display available. But as all the others, they have two big problems. One, I can't use them with my phone in my pocket. Two, they have the habit of using my phone battery. I know it's quite inconvenient, isn't it? But this, this is the Rocket Station, a portable brain for your glasses. About the two problems, it solved it completely. It actually changed completely the way I use this kind of classes. And for the better. But hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. Let's discover this thing together in this video. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, let's start faking this thing out of the box and explain a bit what we got over here. This is the Rocket Station, a portable Google TV powered by a big 5,000 mAh power bank, all in this nice, rounded, and stylish little package. This is made directly to pair with your Rocket Smart Glasses. About the glasses, I actually reviewed them in the past on the channel, so feel free to check them out. I'll leave the link in the description below. In this video though, we'll focus mostly on the Rocket Station experience. It comes in the box with, of course, the manual to follow for the setup, a USB Type-C cable to charge it, and a new USB Type-C to micro HDMI cable to connect our glasses to it. The Rocket Stations feel premium and comfy to hold right away. It's made in aluminum or aluminum, depends where you come from, and it also feels very solid. And I'm really digging the minimal design. On the bottom, we have the connection for the USB Type-C to charge our phone and a HDMI port for our glasses. On the right, the indicators for a battery life and the power button. On the front, if you are familiar with the Google TV, the classic back, home, apps, and setting buttons, plus a directional pad on top with the center button to select, and on the left side, the volume rocker. How to use it? Well, it's very plug and play. You just connect your glasses with the cable and you're in. So here we are with the Rocket Max paired with the new Rocket Station, standalone. Oh, by the way, it also comes with a Google TV remote that we will need to use for the first setup. This is pretty basic, but very useful if you want to connect a Rocket Station to a TV as well with a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter. Because yes, the particular thing here, we're talking about a handle portable Google TV device. Of course, running Android TV and certified directly by Google. And the cool thing here that we're not gonna need our phone to use our glasses anymore. I mean, you can if you want to, you can still use the station to actually cast your phone, iPhone, PC to the glasses through it. But it can also work as a standalone experience without using the battery of our beloved smartphones or devices. So you can watch movies, play your games, anything you do in your glasses directly from here, in complete freedom and separated from all the other devices. Talking about the hardware specs of the Rocket Station, it's running on a 64-bit quad-core ARM CPU. Unfortunately, I don't have any specifics of it just yet, but it feels pretty snappy. It has two gigabyte of RAM and 32 gigabyte of storage for your apps and videos if you want to store them offline. It supports Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5, and as we said, it has wireless cast. So it can cast your phone screen via Chromecast. It has an integrated 5,000 mAh battery to use for up to five hours, and also supports fast charging up to 18 watts. Also, as we said, it runs the Google Android TV operating system, so that means that it supports every app on the Play Store for that, but how does it work? Well, the idea is easy. As we said, you connect the glasses with a micro HDMI cable and you will find a huge Google TV in front of you with a familiar UI and control scheme. There is nothing to tinker with. Everything is plug and play. It really feels like sitting on a couch and turning on your TV a huge TV. <laughs> Probably they noticed that using the phone were creating a lot of friction for this kind of glasses and at the same time it was supporting better Android and iPhone and a big chunk of people in the US mostly use 
iPhones, so they were left behind. So yeah, this is solution completely platform agnostic, ready to use anytime, with also some interesting perks. You can connect your phone via cable or just cast to the rocket station with Arcast for the Apple devices or Miracast. Also, you have access to all the streaming apps without any copyright problems that you might have using different apps to actually show them. So yeah, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Prime Videos, HBO, Peacock, there's so many. The only thing that you have to be aware of is that from the phone experience, we're actually losing the 3D OF mode uh, that I actually really loved. So yeah, no AR software, we're gonna have just a big TV that is gonna follow us every single time around with the position of our head. I think it's kind of a shame because again, I really love the AR experience and having a screen just stuck in a position in space, but I guess that easy to use come first in this case. By the way, if you're curious, I try running the app, uh, installing the APK on the, the system of the Google TV, uh, but while it recognizes the app, I could actually install the app. I wasn't able to run it. I wasn't able to actually see the glasses with it. So kind of failed there. With the downside though comes two major perks. We don't have to keep the screen on the entire time of our phone. So finally, finally, you'll be able to put the rocket station in your pocket and just keep using it without any problem. And I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of a killer feature for me. And of course, beside the rocket AR app, you can install any app you want because it has a Google TV system, it has a Play Store with all the apps and you can just install them over there without any problem. For example, I use Moonlight a lot to play PC games with my glasses and uh, here it works perfectly. Low latency, I connect my Xbox controller for it and I'm good. But the software can really share exactly what I'm seeing right now because I don't have a micro HDMI capture card, unfortunately, but luckily I have some footage laying around. And as you can see, this is a true and true Google TV experience with your apps, notifications, suggestions, streaming services, easy. With the added benefit of an extra private experience with also their new privacy mode. You can get to it holding the volume down button for four seconds. That is gonna change the sound profile and it's gonna be much harder for people to listen to what you're listening to uh, through the speakers on the side. So if you're like me, then mostly use them in bed before going to sleep, not gonna wake up anybody. So we solved the problem that the phone had to stay on the entire time. Now you can just put this in your pocket and you're good to go. Also the buttons are stiff enough so you're not gonna have some ghost clicking weld in the pocket and that's very good. And as we said again, the battery for the phone because this solves it completely because if your phone battery is down, you can actually charge it with the power bank inside over here. And mostly you don't even have to use your phone to stream things on your glasses, so problem solved already. It's a nice looking 5,000 milliampere battery bank with some good perks. So what do I think about it? Well, I'm really sad about the fact that we don't have the 3DOF experience anymore using the station. This thing changed completely the way I use these glasses because it made it less clunky and less nerdy, let's say. More like a standalone situation with the brain that is easy to bring around actually fits perfectly in the case. It seems like they were ready already for this thing to happen. And all of this reminds me a lot of the iPod experience. Instead of having headphones, we have our glasses and uh, yeah, this is our iPod with a very similar input device. I also wish they were using the same cable as we use with the phone, the Type-C to Type-C. Instead, they're using a micro HDMI cable over here. And if you want both experiences, we will have to bring both cables, of course. My personal experience though, I never connected again with my phone. I'm just good with the rocket station. I really didn't find any reason to use my phone again. So the rocket station absolutely does what it's supposed to, making this emerging market even easier to use. Snappier, less nerdy, and all with a very well-known interface that is Google TV. It's a simple Google TV cinema experience in your pocket, and I'm good with it. 
Anyway, the Rocket Station is available for pre-order on the Rocket website starting at $129 and will be $139 at retail after that, while the Rocket Max go for $439 but you can save some money with a bundle now at $529 with both of these together. So what do you think about it? Are you interested in this standalone experience thing? Uh, do you mind having something still in your pocket or would you like to have something all contained in the glasses? But anyway guys, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you did like, please like, subscribe to the channel for more of your tech. If you love the channel, join the button there, they don't further also the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreon, join the channel, of course, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.